squealing rats inside of a wall, and we're about to figure it out right now. All right, so we get a call from Lisa, who's just absolutely frustrated. She's had multiple pest control companies to try to solve the noises in her walls. She's starting to hear squealing sounds. She's fed up, saw us on YouTube, and here we are. Let's go meet Lisa. So you're hearing them as you're working in the office here, mm -hmm. Lisa? You're hearing Under them right here. there? Yep, and then okay. when I'm in the bathroom, I can hear them too, because okay. she has a wall. And so you were telling me over the phone, this is a, this is a, a flipper, right? It was. Got it, okay. Yeah. All right, any yeah. of the home inspectors indicate any rodent? No. Nothing when they did their home inspection? No? Okay. No. Do you remember what the layout was prior to your purchase? No. no. Okay. I mean, I don't, I, I, I think this is the bathroom. I just think we just did a new um, tub, I mean, a new shower to have the tub. Okay. So you've had a two pest control companies? Yeah. One was in July, June, June-ish, July last year. Okay. And that's who did all the exclusion, and um, we caught a couple rats underneath. In the, in um, the crawl mm -hmm. space? And so when was the last time you heard the noises? Last night. Last night, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head up to the roof above that bathroom right now and just investigate that. Yeah, and you could see the exclusion work that was done was done really, really well. It's like they did some uh, exclusion work here by that spray, using the spray foam. Okay, so we removed some insulation here. This is above the bathroom, the toilet here. You can see fresh uh, droppings right here. And what I noticed is this PVC line right here, which connects to the air conditioning. This is the condensation line. And what they did is they tied the condensation line right into the sewer system. Look at this. So what this is going to do is when she turns on her air conditioning, this is going to suck sewer gases into her air duct system. So this is a big, big no-no. These should always be terminated to the outside. So we'll let Lisa know about this here too. So we're going to go ahead and remove the crawl space access door here and investigate underneath this bathroom as well. We've got a dog here on the other side. I'm not happy with the twins here. <laughs> The other pest control company is just dumping a bunch of poisons underneath the crawl space. So worst thing you could ever do. Okay, so here's the clean out. Look at all the leeches we pulled out of there. That's some rat bait right there. That's good ceviche right there. A little bit of limon, habanero. Mm. All right, so we're getting the sewer smoke machine all set up here. We're setting it up right here because the four inch or that three inch line is right up here. So this is going to be the shortest distance. I got smoke already. We have smoke? Yeah. Okay. See the smoke there, guys? So we're seeing a lot of grease marks here, guys, on this two inch here. Let me show you. See the grease marks right there? Right there, you can tell that that's the runway. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now, now we know their runways and we've identified a breach inside that wall, we're gonna go ahead and use our pure black foam and exclude those holes just in case she wants to move forward by opening up. Sorry, guys, so bright. I make this look good. Opening up those walls, we'll be able to have them stuck in those walls and not relocate somewhere else in the crawl space. So we're gonna go ahead and build a critical barrier here to preparation of opening up this wall right here because we know we're getting smoke here and we know we're getting smoke over here where this toilet vent is. So we're gonna start with about 18 to 12 inches up. Okay, containment is up. I always like when there's outside windows like this, all the particulates. And go right outside here. So we did all of the exclusions underneath. So if there is live rats in the wall, they don't have anywhere to dump back into the crawl space because we've covered those holes. So it's going to be interesting to see what we find when we open up those walls. Okay, Enrique is getting us all prepped. So we have straight cuts. So that's how much we're going to be cutting. So there's the opening right there. Trying to get in there. You can see the droppings right there. Okay, so down further, we opened up. You can see there's a lot of a lot of rat droppings here. Like they were nibbling on the the rubber cap right here too. Got the twin sign here, you guys. This stuff works amazing. When you're dealing with rat urine and all sorts of contaminants, the enzyme is just incredible. We do have it in 32 ounce bottles now, as you can see. Pest 
control guy the other day, I was doing a consultation, he's like, I asked him, are you doing any type of exclusion work inside the wall cabinet? He says, no, why would I do that? So there's a lot of pest control technicians that, yes, the outside is the most important, I get it, but focusing also inside, especially with a massive rat infestation, because you begin to isolate certain areas, especially after you found the breach, you want to make sure that you've isolated each thing. So that's why we do what we do inside the wall cavities and attics. It's smelling better already, guys. All right, Lisa, here's what we found. So that's behind the tub area. Look at all okay. the droppings there. Okay. Okay. Then there's, a, there's the other wall. They yeah. chewed a little bit on your... I, was, I could hear them chewing, so yeah. I was nervous about that. Then... There's your, there's oh. the. Wow. Just right. open. Wide open. They were coming in and out, in and out. Oh, okay. Yep. So you were hearing them come in and out. The good thing is you didn't have any insulation in that wall. So they didn't really have any nesting. They were just coming in at night, but they were coming in during the day as well, right? You said? Yeah, I could hear okay. them during the day as yeah. well. There's the smoke. Wow. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and install some wire mesh on this other one here as well. Just, I hate for Lisa to patch all of this up and then a few years later, they start chewing on this. All right guys, so the pest controllers they, they, they did exclusion work on this metal vent right here, but the problem with this, if rain gets in here, it's gonna flood the inside of her closet. This is probably going to like the FAU. So we're gonna put the proper cap on it, so a rain cap, which is this bad baby right here. So this is a water intrusion protector, but also protector from rats coming in as well. So a lot of the pest control companies don't know the difference, they just, they're here to cover any holes that they see that potentially rats can come in. That's the proper way right there. And then we'll screw it in. That way the wind doesn't blow it off. Nice. Good job, Dave. Good job, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Dave, I think this deserves the I rat dance. The rat dance. Let's do it. Over here on the flat I surface. On the flat surface here, there is a... There is a party Big happening party over, over there, there and maybe, maybe we can yeah. entertain them with Dave's rat yeah, dance, but yeah. uh, let's head over to the rat dance platform here, Dave. Okay, let's do it. Pretty awesome to see the relief on Lisa's face. That's the most rewarding, guys. Okay, we're covering the walls. This will be temporary. She's gonna stay connected in communication with us just to make sure that there is no more activity. And then we'll be back to patch these holes. All right, doing our last bit of cleanup. Okay, so we're securing the rest of this wall here. Your wall patching is done. I think this is a good design because it, it has the same kind of color as your floors. Oh. Kind of gives you that Mississippi rustic look. Yeah, thanks. Except for the export paint and remodel on this. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a trap here. Okay. And if anything deploys, you're going to hear it. Okay. So text us right away. Okay. If you don't hear anything, that's we're good. solid good news. Yep. Yeah. So a good rule of thumb for us is a good five to eight days. Okay. If you don't hear anything from there, then that's going to give us the green light that we to solved the issue and we can patch. Awesome. If you hear activity, then we need to come back and continue to figure try. out what's figure going on. Yep. Okay. Well, guys, that was a long day. So we're going to monitor. We're going to be in communication with Lisa, making sure she may even have some activity later this evening. You never know with these rats. Uh, so we'll stay tuned here. All right, guys, it's Sunday morning. The next day. At sure approximately, she heard something. Yeah, approximately eight o'clock last night, I get a text message from Lisa, and it, her exact words were, I heard a loud noise and some squealing, so I think the trap might have gone off. So we're headed there now. Check out that inside wall cavity. Stay tuned. Leave your comments if you think we caught something right now. I or hope we did. Did that damn rat get away?
headed there now. All right, we're here. Let's go inside and check it out. Lisa, so eight o'clock last night, you yeah. sent me that text. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Like I thought something in the, cause I did had done dishes and stuff was piled. And then I was like, oh my God, I think it was the trap. And then I heard wine, you know, like the, the squealing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. And then you said you heard water running? It sounds like there's water running or something coming out of the building that knocked off the trap and the air, the gas is coming out. It's weird. Let's check it out. Oh, it's not that far away. Yeah, it's like right there. Like right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, there's a leak inside the wall. Is it really? Go we'll shut the water off to the house. Hearing water inside that wall. Uh, I know she has pecs piping, so I don't know if the rats maybe chewed, but nothing was leaking yesterday. You can hear it. Yep, now Dave shut the water off, so it stopped. Oh, look at the uh, pure black. It's all chewed up. All right, Dave's going to go turn the water back on. I see a wet spot right there on the drywall. So you could see our rat trap guys it deployed and then they took the bait. Unbelievable how they chewed through that. Okay, so I've opened this up a little bit more. Let's see where that confirm where that leak's coming from. Nice. Right where the pet pipe comes through the wood there. You could see the rat tail right there got away. Yeah, so this is what you were hearing. The t we got him by the tail, but he was able to get away. Mm, okay. So they definitely shoot the pipe. David's going to go get parts. We're going to go underneath the crawl space, have to cut out a section and redo that section. Okay. Oftentimes when the rats get uh, trapped with their tails, they'll go behind and start biting their tail off to be able to get away from that trap. So that's what it looked like uh, this particular rat did. So we're beginning to repair this leaky pex pipe that's chewed from the wrap. We have to try to get access inside that wall cavity and then get in the crawl space and replace it from the bottom. All right, Dave uh, repaired that pipe, so I'm gonna turn the water on and make sure that we don't have any other leaks. When you turn water back on, you guys, really important. A lot of people we see will turn it, turn it on really quickly. You wanna allow the water to fill up a little bit, turn on. Wait a few seconds, turn on a little bit more. You also want to turn valves on uh, inside the house, so like a lav, flush the toilet. You want to get all the air out of the line. Turn a little bit more on. I don't hear Dave, so that's a good sign. And then you could turn it all the way on. Okay, and then once you open it all the way to the end, I always like going back about a quarter turn. You never want to just leave it on its all the way open, especially with these type of gate valves. So just wanted to offer that little tip. No leaks, huh, Dave? No, no leaks. We're Perfect. good. So here's the piece of pipe. You can see the, the rat chew marks right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and insulate the pipes. And then what we're gonna do is apply the Flex Seal. We've had pretty good success with Flex Seal deterring the rats from chewing. So we're gonna apply Flex Seal on the surface of this foam right here, this insulation. Okay, so as you can see, we've coated it all. Down here, down here, and right there. All right, let's just set up our trap now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we've cut this baseboard out to take care of the plumbing, but what I've done is I've taken a piece of styrofoam, put some peanut butter here to create some aroma. Then I cut out the same size where the baseboard is. Then I added some cinnamon peanut butter at the top of this, again, to create that aroma. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set the trap right here, like this. And then this will sit right up against the wall like that. It's a good idea, guys. So when we come back and monitor, all we need to do is remove, remove this. that. Yep. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead, and set our camera. That way we'll be able to monitor. So this is what the camera angle will look like side there I think we have a new rat trap guys what do you think okay we've inserted the camera and this is what our view looks like there's the peanut butter 
So there's the trap right there and the peanut butter and inside that wall cavity. Well, that was sure interesting, guys. We've never had, in all of our rat jobs, never had within 24 hours a rat chew through pecs and cause that type of pinhole leak in the wall. So now that we've got that customized rat trap concoction there in her office, we're going to really monitor over the next day or so and see what we can come up with. Stay tuned. Guys, we're heading back to Lisa's last night. The styrofoam icebox trap got one. So we had a lot of activity last night on our camera. The problem is, and we tried to call Y support to help us retrieve all of that footage. So we're dealing with that right now. In the meantime, we're heading over to Lisa's. We're gonna open up that styrofoam icebox and retrieve that rat and rebate and see what we can do to get another one. But the question is, is it the rat that we caught missing the tail or is it a different rat? Oh, that's right. Stay tuned. So Lisa, you heard scratching on the styrofoam. It looks like at about 10 o'clock or 10 45 yeah. last night. Yeah. And I got nervous they were gonna try to eat their way out, eat, you know, right. even though that's a pretty thick wall, obviously. Yeah. Got him good. And it was the rat that got its tail caught. So second time, didn't make it. All right, so we just rebaited it, getting it set. We're hoping that that's the only one, but you never know. Yeah, as you can see too, they weren't chewing and chewing. Yeah, I know most of you guys are probably, oh, they're gonna chew right through that styrofoam, but you could tell that he didn't even make it past. Past the trap, yeah. yeah. I know it looks a little ugly, but it's effective. We got it. We got it. Oh, nice. We got it, Raponcito. Oh, that's the one that escaped from the uh, from the wall cavity. Very, very nice. Woo! Got him good. Nice. Cool, Victor. Let's reset that trap and then let's go back into the wall cavity, okay? Another great find, you guys. All right there in that inch and a half sand tee in the wall. Guys, if you're buying a flip home, it's super important that you make sure that the guys that you're buying it from, and more than likely it's going to be a developer, that they give you some type of warranty because a surprise like this that Lisa's gone through, it'd be nice for him to pay for all of these unforeseen Negligence. expenses Negligence. Yep, absolutely well lisa's super happy as well and that's what makes us feel good absolutely guys hey leave your comments down below love Hit to hear that what subscribe button yes and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next one, one.